And at the time that you had your first meeting in early June at Michael Jackson's house, rehearsals were going on at that time. Yes. All right. And they were going on at the Forum, is that correct? At that time, they, to the best of my recollection, uh, they had probably left uh, Burbank Center Staging, which were the rehearsal studios, um, and had moved into production rehearsals at the Forum. It was sometime in June. All right. And, uh, and so uh, do you recall whether or not the rehearsals were at June at that time during that meeting, the first meeting in June? No, I don't. All right. But rehearsals were absolutely going on. You know that? Right? Yes. Okay. And Michael Jackson was expected to be at these rehearsals? Not at all of them, no. Was there, was there any concern sometime after, in June, about Michael Jackson missing rehearsals? There, there was a concern. I think it was more towards uh, the second week in June um, that uh, Kenny expressed. Ortega expressed to me. All right. Prior to the second week in, of June, was there? W w w did Kenny Ortega express any concern about Michael Jackson missing rehearsals or having poor rehearsals? N well, not not during the, the May rehearsals were at center staging, and Michael came to a few of those, but he wasn't expected because there was a new band ostensibly. Some, there were some of the same players he'd used before, but a new music director. So um, they were getting the music right, and he did not need to be at every one of those rehearsals.
At some point, though, you met Dr. Murray. Correct. After that conversation. When, when did you meet Dr. Murray? Um, to the best of my recollection, there was a meeting at Michael's house um, on Carrollwood Drive. Um, I think it was in very early June. Uh, was it the first week of June, second week of June? It would, it would, I think it was the first week of June. All right. Was it on a weekday or was it on a weekend? It was a weekday. You're sure it was a weekend? No, I think it, I believe it was a week, a weekday. A weekday. Yeah. I mean, right. the truth is, I'm just dealing with recollections of events that happened a long time ago. I'm not 100 percent sure. Well, um, do you know whether there was rehearsal that day? I don't. I don't know. All right. Do you know what time the meeting was? It was in the late afternoon. Uh, before evening. Before four. Before five. I'm, either four or five. All right. This meeting was at Michael Jackson's house? At the Carrollwood Drive house. Right. And who called the meeting? I think Paul Gongaware and Frank DeLeo did. And do you know what the topic or the reason, with, what reason was given to call this meeting? It was a, prelim it was a preliminary meeting to discuss, um, you know, what uh, Dr. Murray was going to do for Michael. Um, and uh, there were some concerns that Frank had and others about Michael not eating, losing weight. Um, and we wanted to just have a general meeting to discuss Michael's health. All right, so at the meeting was Frank DeLeo. Correct. And yourself. Dr. Murray was there. Correct. Michael Jackson was there. Correct. And and Paul Gongor. Paul Gongor. What about Kenny Ortega? I don't. I don't, to the best of my recollection, he wasn't at this meeting.
recall having any conversation with Dr. Murray about drug use by Michael Jackson. When you say drug use, are you talking about prescription drugs? Yes. Um, there was um, there was one conversation I had with Dr. Murray after in the early in the June meeting. Mm -hmm. um, to my recollection, it was after the at the end of our meeting. I believe I went up to Dr. Murray and said um, that um, Dr. Klein, who's a dermatologist in Beverly Hills, was also treating Michael, and was he aware of that? And I just left it at that. All right. And, and why did you feel the need to tell Dr. Murray that? What was your concern? My concern that uh, my concern and why I felt I should tell him or ask him if he knew about that was that there was a meeting at um, a production meeting at Michael's house around that same time period um, where Michael was not as focused as he usually is. Because on the production meetings, he was like laser focused on every element of the show. I mean, he's a consummate perfectionist. Um, in this one meeting, he just seemed a little distracted, not focused. And what did that have to do with Dr. Klein? Well, after the meeting, uh, as we were leaving, I asked uh, Michael Amir Williams, I said, is everything okay? I'm um, out of concern. And he said, no, he, j he just came from Dr. Klein's office. All right. And, what and did I didn't know what that meant, but that's not, what he said to okay. me. You didn't know what kind of treatment no. or that Dr. Klein was giving Michael no. Jackson? But it was sufficient for you to mention it to Dr. Murray? Yes. Since you didn't know about the treatment that Dr. Klein was giving, did you did you further just say did you did you say, hey, Dr. Murray, my concern is that he looks a little out of it when he leaves Dr. Klein's office, or did you just simply say, hey, he's seeing Dr. Klein? I just I just said he's seeing Dr. Klein. You know, I mean, because he's his principal physician, I thought he should know, in case Michael hadn't told him that he should know that he was seeing another doctor. All right. Um, were, were you aware of any other doctors that, no. at the time? All right. At Culver Studios, shooting green screen. We're gonna do the drill into cadence, into they don't really care about us, and it's gonna be really cool because they're gonna multiply the guys. So our existing 11 guys are gonna become 1,100 guys, and it'll be really, really cool. So we're kind of excited, and Michael's coming today. There's the man. There's Michael. The man is here. Woo! 